Oh yeah. What's up guys? It is your boy, Crystal Coast Picker. I realize I just keep on saying it is your boy, but yet there is a It's Your Boy channel. But anyway, I uh, picked up that. It's a tote full of toys. And first and foremost, you're probably going to see like some clips of some stuff before this. Of what exactly, the reason I picked these up. Uh, one of the main things I saw when I decided to pick these up was this Ninja Turtle right here. Uh, he is complete in the box. There is a little bit of lift on the bubble right there, but it's a Leonardo, amazing transformation, and it's got the ooze. Uh, so this was one of the main reasons I picked it up. And um, the guy was like, I got off of work at 5.30. It's now it's uh, March 12th, 2021. I got off of work at 5.30, and, I mean, when I when I saw it, it was, like, filled up to here, maybe. Let's see if you guys can see that. Up to here, maybe. And I was, like, he had already had it listed for, like, five hours. And I was, like, hey, man, is this still available? He said, yeah. I was, like, awesome. He's, like, I've thrown some extra stuff in there, too, uh, just so you know. But it's still just 20 bucks. I was, like, okay, cool, awesome. I'll be there in a minute. Actually, it was like 30 minutes because of Moorhead City, which is about 30 minute drive away. So I went down there, shot down there. I get there, and it looks like this. And I'm like, twenty dollars? He said, "Yep, twenty bucks." I said, "All right, man. It, it's yeah, I'll take it." So this gentleman was an elderly gentleman, not super old, probably about my mom's age, probably like 20 years older than me or whatnot. Uh, so I believe. There's going to be stuff in here in my era or whatnot. This Disney phonograph, I haven't opened it up yet, so I don't know what condition it is in. Uh, but this is like, I think it's like 70s maybe. Maybe newer, maybe 80s. Uh, but we got Cabbage Patch Kids, which was definitely my era. This is newer. This is 2003. So... That's definitely newer, but I'm fine. Hey, what's wrong with that? I don't care. You know, this looks awesome. So, let's go ahead and dive in. Photograph. Uh, it is a Disney Magic, only at Sears. The box, obviously, is in a little bit rough condition. Some water damage. Some rips. Tape coming off. Uh, by Ertl. All right. It's blue, so I'm guessing, oh, almost lost it. I'm guessing it's the Jimmy Cricket, since it looks blue. Yep, Jimmy Cricket. Okay. Uh, that looks like the, the rubber band for the wheel that make it spin, so I might have to try to fix that. Uh, but man, look at the graphics. The graphics look great. The arm. I don't know. I don't know what type of needle it's supposed to have. Um, something I'm just going to have to look into. And then I know an AC adapter. Nothing in the box, no manual. Oh, oh awesome. There we go. And it looks like it's a. Uh, that might be a newer replacement one because it says Cyber 
acoustic, so it might be newer. And then for the C's, no corrosion, so that's awesome. How's this? There we go. All right, back at it, guys. Uh, so we see Simpsons trivia game sealed in a ten. This obviously, excuse me, this obviously is newer. 2000. Uh, but that's still pretty cool. It's brand new. I'll list that. Then we got some Cabbage Patch Kids. They're a little dirty. So I'll definitely clean them up. Get rid of any uh, clothes that might not be official Cabbage Patch another Cabbage Patch Kid. That one's really dirty. Uh, this one is not a Cabbage Patch Kid. She looks interesting. Okay, got a Nerf gun in there. Oh, books. I think those are the, yeah, those are the record, like record books for the photograph. Another garbage pail. Garbage pail. Cabbage Patch. This is 1991. It has the diaper. This one, I don't know who she is. She is very ratty, though. She's got a diaper on. Baby face. It's a baby face doll. Okay. It's a rem remote control. Space Man Talk and Walk Robot from 1992. Oh, is this Godzilla? No, I don't think it's Godzilla. It might be Godzilla, but it looks old. 1983 Imperial. That's pretty cool. Another one. Oh, no way! No way! That's he, man. <laughs> oh, let's see. What is this? This is 19... No, this... Yeah, 1984 Imperial. That dude's pretty wicked looking. Maybe... I gotta look those up. Those might be... Um, Godzilla, which is awesome. But Godzilla and King Kong coming out. Oh, it's a stack of them. $20. Paid $20 for this unit. Whew. All right, sorry. Grab the chair. Heart's pounding. Ooh, I saw those He-Man guys. I'm not. I'm. I'm trying not to dig through stuff. I want to go through this stuff with y'all uh, on camera. So let's go through these books real quick, and then hopefully we can get some more. Get get whatever's in there. All right. So these are the books that have the little 33s in them. Um, this is probably the most controversial book. And it actually has the crows in it. Uh, 1968 Dumbo. Okay. 1968 The Story of Heidi. And all of that one, all of them so well, there's only two, but they both have uh, the discs so far. Sesame Street theme Rubber Ducky. making sure it's in there yeah it's Sesame Street rubber ducky that's way cool uh, Disney story of Pecos Bill I can't make out what that is but I'm, I'm guessing it's 1970 Treasure Island, 1971. Hansel and Gretel, 1967. The Acting Out, the ABCs, 1967. Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. Copyright Knight Montgomery Ward, 1939. Assigned Robert L. May, 1947. 
There's no way this is from the 47. It's got two. It's got two in there. More Jungle Book, 1969. The story of Winnie the Pooh and Tigger with songs. This is 1968. On the Good Ship Lollipop, Peter Pan Records, plus Chocolate Train, this is actually 45, it doesn't say a year, still in its wrap, but it's open, Alice in Wonderland, um, I think that's either 1965 or 1975, I think it's 65. Pinocchio, 1966, Robin Hood, 1973, The Alphabet Song and Chocolate Train by Peter Pan, Aladdin and His Lamp, 1973, The Little White Duck, by Peter Pan Records, Sitting on the Water. Original price tag of 20 cents. That's crazy. It's signed. I'm guessing that's probably who owned it. 1959. Cinderella. Like I said, 1965 or 1975. I can't tell. The Grasshopper and the Ants. Which, that grasshopper looks a lot like Jimmy Cricket. That's 1968. And lastly, Johnny Appleseed, 1969. So, clear the table off. Let's see what we got. Nerf gun. This is definitely more recent. It looks like it should have a stock, but it's missing it. It's an in strike. Might just give that to the nephews or something. We'll see. Looks like a ninth, or 2006 Ford Mustang Maisto. Diecast car box is all crushed up, but looks pretty good. Uh, rubber Snake. Don't know who makes it. It's probably just generic Rubber Snake. Oh, I see a Bugs Bunny. That looks like a generic Optimus Prime. Oh, I haven't seen one of these in a while. A Jeep Jeepster. Maisto Marvel Storm car. Still on the card. The card's really beat up, but this is the Bucks Bunny. Toon Squad! Space Jam. They're getting ready to come out with a new Space Jam soon. With LeBron. <laughs> no way! Oh, you all gotta see it! You have to see it! Look at that! Oh my god! That is a crap ton of He-Man. <gasps> no way! Hawk rules. Hasbro Hawk. Oh, man. I've been thinking about getting back into collecting these Hasbros. Oh, my goodness. That is awesome. And he's in pretty good shape, too. Oh, I'm not even on camera. He's in pretty good shape. He doesn't have a lot of paint chips or nothing. All right. Uh, dude, what is this? Okay, John Force. Uh, it's kind of detached, but I'm pretty sure I could just put it back together. Okay. Oh, there's another car. Oh my God. But Tony Stewart. Um, I'm trying to think of the best way to look at this stuff. Okay, I'm just gonna dump it down. I guess that'd probably be the best way. Oh, no. oh, there's me. There's He Man books. Oh, there's a bunch of He Man. Oh, my goodness. I haven't seen this much He Man in a while. That is awesome. Okay, so. Oh, look at that. So, long story short, hopefully. Oh, there's more wrestling figures. Oh, my God. I am like all squirrel mode right now. I am sorry. 
1989 Imperial Sabertooth Tiger. That's awesome. All right. When I was a kid, 1983 is when I was born. My mom bought me the whole entire collection of He-Man. And she ended up, when we moved to Virginia with my dad, uh, we ended up, something happened to it. Beetlejuice. I'm just sitting here playing with these figures and... My daughter's obsessed with Beetlejuice right now, so I'm pretty sure she's going to end up claiming that. Anyway, yeah, so we lost all my figures. We don't know what happened to them, and this is awesome. This is just awesome. So I can't remember everybody. Uh, you guys can comment down below if you want uh, who they are. I probably already looked them up, but hey, join in. Please comment. Let me know. I know this is buzz something. Uh, he is in a little bit of rough shape. He is a little loose. He's got some paint wear. Oh my goodness. It's the, oh man, I can't remember his name. Um, but it's the, the Iron Steed or something like that. And he's got his side guns. He's got his seat. He's got the back gun. And I think there should be, oh my god. I know I saw that already. <laughs> yes, there should be a tail, but he's missing his tail. Oh, what the heck, man. So, He-Man's got the two guns, the back gun, the seat, and all the other accessories, but no tail. Skeletor's has got one side gun, tail, back gun, seat, but no extra side gun. Oh, that sucks. Oh, well. That's all. It's still, oh, still great. Casey Jones. Oh, turtles. There's turtles in here. Yes, that is wrestling figures. Who is that? Is that Lex Luger? No, he's got cowboy boots on. I don't know who that is. If you know who that is? Comment down below who that is. Who would that be? All right, we got He Man. He's got a janky leg, so that rubber band's probably getting ready to break. We got aliens. This is the bull alien. Heck yeah, man. Dude, this guy. I guarantee he had a kid my age, had all these toys, and they said they were moving. So they had to move in like a week, and they had sold the house. So I don't know what happened. I mean, look at that. Look, look at all those toys we got to go through. And I don't know what happened. I don't know if maybe... I don't know. Maybe he told the kids, hey, come over here and help us clean up and take the stuff that's yours. And they didn't. And so he just threw it all in there. I don't know. I don't know. Um, who is this? I don't know who this is. Uh, no markings. Oops. But you know what? He's really... He's really flimsy. I wonder if he's one of those, um, there was that, that karate or fighting game that was almost like Rock'em Sock'em Robots, but like, they, they put one foot and they spin around and they do crazy stuff. I wonder if he's one of them. I have to look. There's a place where only the strongest dare compete. Who are they? Karate Fighters, you control the action. Dragon Kick versus the Red Ninja. Thunderfoot versus Skull Crusher. You control every punch, every kick. No rules, no referee, no holds barred. Just all contact karate action. The man left standing rules. Each set comes with two Karate Fighters. Get your hands on the action. Looks like he's Honda from, uh, Star, from Star Wars Street Fighter, but he's not. Another He-Man. I don't remember his name. He does have some damage to him. He's got some gouges in his chest. I won't really have to clean these up. Oh, this is He-Man. And this is what goes to it. Oh, Joker! And a Stinkor. I know him. But I can't tell. I don't think this is broke. I think this is in good shape. I'm just going to get it on... The track 1983 check that out that is awesome dude 20 bucks 20 dollars i kind of want to go back and give the dude a little bit more money
stink gore with his uh, chest piece. Uh, this looks like a Burger King toy, maybe. Spearhead Enterprises, 1985. Huh, maybe not. I don't know. This looks like Man Bat from anime, Batman Animated Series. Oh, that's cool. Hawk Rules. What is it? Is it Play-Doh? Maybe like... Okay, it's a Play-Doh molding. 1991 Trend Masters. So you put the Play-Doh in there, and then you close it up, and it molds it to be like the Hulkamania. Trap Jaw. Ooh, he's pretty stiff. Ooh, that's a good Trap Jaw. I might keep that trap jaw. What we got here? That is Arnold. That is Arnold Schwarzenegger. And I know he does something. It's hard for me doing this one-handed. There it is. Yep, Terminator. He doesn't have his missile, though. Oh, it's okay. Joker. This is probably like 1980. Oh, Andy. That's no, CWD. What is this? 19. Ah, I'm not worried about it. Video is going to go long. This is. That looks like uh, from Lost Planet or Lost in Space. Uh, the robot from Danger, uh, you know, Danger Will Robinson, Danger. That's what that looks like. It's got 97 New Line Cinema, New Line Productions. So yeah, that's probably what that is. Uh, we got some big army men. There was another one. Yeah, some big army men. Okay. Got a tower forming over here. My finger's in the shot, man. This is why I need one of those. Uh, I need to get find everything again that has the little holder thing. Bushwhacker. Don't know which one that is. But one of the bushwhackers. Another has. <gasps> no way. An LJN. Brutus the Barber Beefcake. I think, right? Is that Brutus? Or is that Rick Martell? Pretty sure that's Brutus the Barber Beefcake. Pretty sure that's Brutus. No way, dude. Oh my goodness. Is there more LJNs? I see more wrestlers. <gasps> Macho Man! Oh yeah! No way, dude. That's a Gen 1. I think. I don't know a whole lot about Transformers. I have a buddy who does. I want to get him. Oh, I'm pretty sure that's a Gen 1. It's metal. It's It's got metal. But it's missing. It's broke. Uh, I wonder if that'll be okay. Um, another Beetlejuice thing. I think these were little PVCs that you could get at like a Taco Bell or Burger King or something. They were Happy Meal. Not Happy Meals, but you know. The Uneasy Chair. Beetlejuice. Man of Many Faces. Awesome. Who is this? I can't tell... He looks familiar, but I can't tell what he's from. Let me see if there's a marking. I don't see any markings. So I don't if you guys know who he is, let me know. Uh Man at Arms. He's pretty stiff. So his road bands are good. Ooh. Scott Steiner. And Rick Steiner. Heck yeah. 
Man, this is awesome. Uh, Masters of the Universe. I have the power. Golden Book. Oh, man. Bringing back memories. 1985. No way, dude. And I honestly... Like, I really thought... I saw... When, when, I, when I finally saw this, it was like halfway full. And I was like, man... I saw the, the, the turtle, and I saw that the things. I think I saw the Imperials, the old Imperials. And I was like, man, 20 bucks, I'll take a chance. Because he said he was going to keep on adding stuff. Uh, Masters of the Universe, the trap, it is missing its cover. Um, but I'll throw it in a lot with other stuff, and I'm sure someone will still grab it. Probably just lot all these books up. Oh, okay, so this is the trap. So this is the actual, this is that book, but with its cover. And then check out this sweet door hanger. That might go on my door. That might legitimately go on the door of my room. Donatello. This is uh, City Sewer. I think this is the one when he could talk. Yeah, but it doesn't have a string. Oh, a Batman. That looks like Keaton, Batman. What? 1990 Kenner. So that's a Keaton, Batman. Oh, uh, that is a bird from, I believe it's He-Man. It's Mattel. I believe that's from a He-Man figure. Oh, uh, we got a He-Man here. This is the, oh man, which He-Man is this? I don't know which He-Man this is. I'm going to have to look it up. But that's a He-Man. Check out those old school dinos. No marks, just say China. But those are cool. Uh, here's a rest. Oh, this is Lex, Luth or Lex Luger. So I don't know who that other guy is. Man, Lex Luger don't got a nose. Something happened... Lex Luger cannot smell what The Rock is cooking. He is completely missing that nose. Oh, another Stinkor. But without his uh, chest piece. And oh my god, look at that face. Look at that face when he's not got his chest piece on. He's like, yeah, you all stink. Yeah, no, yeah, yeah, yeah. Stinkor. Ah, uh, this looks like another type of Transformer. Can't. It says made in China, so I'm not... Eh. This is another He-Man, but I don't know who he is. So a little help on him as well. Um, I know this is He-Man. I can't remember his name. He's in the book, so I can figure out his name that way. That would be a problem. Another Beetlejuice with Lydia and Beetlejuice. This is a man or a man of a man many faces, something like that. Many faces, um, but he's missing an arm and a leg. This is uh, one of the guys from Ninja Turtles: Secret of the Ooze. This is a Sonic toy from 1989. Uh, oh, we got another Army Man. Got Rock and Ralph. Getting close to the bottom. Uh, Scarecrow from the animated series, it looks like. Oh, dude, that's creepy. Donatello. Looks like original Donatello with no belt. Uh, I can't remember him either. I know I can't remember who he is. You guys can list the names for any of these people uh, that I'm saying I can't remember. Batman with the retractable belt, and he's got the belt. Uh, this guy with the fuzzy, the fuzzies. It's another He-Man. Uh, Robin, I'm pretty sure it's a 1990 Kenner. That's another Batman. I'm pretty sure that's like a 95 Kenner. 
That is a Hot Wheels Jeep. Not sure. Nineteen eighty six. Like I said, I think these were guys that you put you put them on these little things that you squeeze. And you put that on there like this. And then they move around like this. And whoever gets hit in a certain spot gets thrown off. And I think what that's what the other dude is too. Uh, that is not Manaface's arm. That looks like Merman's arm. Yep, that's exactly what that looks like. That looks like Merman's arm. Um, looks like original Ralph with no belt and a lot of chip paint. This looks like a 1983... Hot Wheels Oshkosh Snowplow, uh, but it's missing the plow. That is another Transformer. Heck yeah. Autobot. Sweet. Another one of those dinosaurs. They go with the Triceratops. A Raisin. I got a whole bag of these back there in the unit. A Batman. This is a McDonald's Batman. This is a uh, Riddler. That is Stimpy from Ren and Stimpy. That looks like some type of weapon. A little dinosaur. Uh, looks like another Beetlejuice. This is a Donatello button of some sort. I don't know who this guy is. 1991 LGTI. No idea. And then, Demolition. Another Hasbro. So, that's it, guys. Uh, $20 for all of this. Those guys down there. The, bar, the, the dolls and everything else. I'm stoked. This is awesome. This is my childhood uh in a box almost i mean with a couple other things that you know aren't there that i had in my childhood uh if there were some x-men toys it would just like sealed it pretty much i mean i know we got the door the door hanger the wolverine door hanger uh but i mean turtles he-man i mean if there was some silver hawks and there's Transformers, there was Batman, uh, wrestlers. So I mean, almost all of these toys are toys that I, I not, not toys that I had because maybe at one point I had them, but I mean a lot of these Hasbro guys I never had, and I've always wanted to get into these, and I don't know, it's gonna be rough for me to part with these guys now that I have them because they might just go up on my shelf. Uh, so. Especially Hogan and Macho. But I do, I, I, I know that they're probably going to be the ones that are worth the most. I know Macho, there's some that are worth more than others because of his coloring. And I know Macho King, which this one isn't, is worth like a lot. So I don't know what orange, orange trunks and bandana Macho goes for. Uh, but I'll have to look it up and see what it does. And uh, potentially might have to part ways with him. Maybe not. Maybe he'll go up on the shelf. So thanks everybody for checking this out. I know it's been super long. But I hope you stuck it through. See all this really cool stuff. It is awesome. Uh, I'm